Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Lighting Your Sunshine, where we like to shine a light within and empower ourselves. So, intention is just, oh, what do we need to know? So, we got a pile on the floor. Let's see what that is. Oh, it sounded like a pile. It sounded a lot, a lot worse than it was. And so... With that, we have Luna. So Luna is always um, in tarot associated with illusions and deception and not quite seeing things, having just a little bit of fog covering up things, right? In sunshine, it's, it's like enlightened, it's like bust through. This one's a little bit secretive and mysterious, we'll say. So the next two cards come out in reverse. We have Guardians of the Inner Desert, as well as the Fate Taker in reverse. Okay, I like that because, ah, uh, okay, just let, let them come in, let the chills. Oh, I'm hearing a boxing ring. It's like ding, 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 round two. That's what I hear. And uh, when I dropped this, it sounded, like I said, like a clump, like things were so much more. And uh, like I said, it's not as worse as it is. So I do feel like this fate taker came in and was like trying to stop or stall something and leave like a desert period for someone. Um, so desert periods, desert periods are the hardest because it is the time of soul growth. It's, it's a very lonely, isolating um, time. Um, it seems like we're disconnected from, from things outside of us because it's a time to go within and reflect. Um, sometimes, right, in seasons and cycles, it's not time for the rain. And so what I'm seeing is someone coming in to try and stop the rain from coming, from watering all the plants and bringing the abundance. But this is not not an issue. Why is it not an issue? Um, guardians of the inner desert. In the desert period, if you've done the time or you've done the soul work and you did, sorry, I always like to move a lot. You do go within, um, you kind of accessed hidden secret parts of yourself. And so when something, let's say, um, a negative comment or a diss or something that was meant to knock you down, um, it doesn't affect you because you have all these colors started popping out. This divine, um, that's your guides, this rainbow kaleidoscope of all these energies that you have access. It's almost like a buffet. It's like, I need this energy. I need to feel safe, secure, and um, empowered right now. And it's like, do, do, do. All right. You bring in these energies and you f <laughs> fake it till you make it because you're not feeling confident, but you still can tap into that confident energy. And so that's when I find this round two kind of happened. It was like, oh, it didn't work. It was like blocked again. Let's pull out some more cards. I want to know what's up with this fate taker. Why, what are, what are they trying to stop and stall? Let's, let's get on that. It's, it's that one. Oh, okay. And that one. Okay. <clears throat> so, Fate Taker. I was like, what do they want? What are they trying to stop? The first one that came out was Inner Sanctum. And one that came out with that was Union. So, a very highly spiritual connection especially the inner sanctum. That is the, what do they call that thing again? And they carried it across the desert and you know, you can't look at it. And <laughs> what is the name of that? It has to do with Moses as they went across. And it like holds the Holy Spirit, like in here, the inner sanctum, like this is the light of, of source. 
And so Fate Taker wants to stop whatever this, this coming together, this bond with Source, this very highly, that's what I'm just seeing. It's, A union of what? I want to know. Because if let's say if it is relationship, like this is like twin flame. Like this is something that is so special. So that would make sense why you'd want to hide it. No, not at all. That makes no sense because that sounds like once that comes to this world, that it's going to benefit so many people on so many levels. So, obviously, fate taker wanting to take something's fate. We got a hater. Who's the hater? Oh, they want to use you as the scapegoat. So that's what I heard. Round two. And it's like something to be dumped on you. Um, maybe so that this union doesn't come together. Maybe they say, oh, this person's not, not um, pure or of the light. Maybe this person practices darkness. And, and really, I do feel like the one spewing the hate and the lies and the gossip. And the, like I said, the darkness is the one who's trying to um, attach a scapegoat to someone else. The next one that came out was the magical temple in reverse. So I do feel like someone, someone is really close to tapping into their, their healing powers. And I feel like this is an old pattern. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, this is something that you've, you've almost tried to learn your whole life. It's like, you're, you've been kind of evaluating, they're showing me, um, you've been evaluating your childhood and the way things were and viewing it in your light today and, and healing whatever it is that no longer serves you. I'm feeling bliss coming through. So why, why would they want them to not heal? What is it that they benefit from you not healing? Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> all of these are just going sideways. Like it's just, it's distracting. It's scattering energy. It's throwing resources over here. It's going over here. It's just like, it's a shit show. <laughs> so... On this one here, we have the Fairy King in reverse. We got these two hidden, hidden still. They don't want to be seen. So let's let them sit over there. And when we're ready to figure out what these energies are, we will. I feel like these are hidden in the background shadow workers. <sighs> yes especially with the fairy king in reverse. Sometimes in the elementals, you know, there are ones that have a little bit of anger and those kind of things. So we're going to let that sit out for a moment. We're going to deal with you when we're ready. Because again, I did this, these deck sometime last week, and there was the holder of light in reverse. Somebody really is trying to um, stop someone's heart from shining as bright as it is. Um, the more and more somebody starts to heal, things start to unravel. The, um, sorry, let me show the cards. They start to unravel. That's where they're starting to tap into this healing temple, but they've got a bond on them. They don't want to let them go because on the outside, um, the flesh and things, um, what I, look at that. She's like lashing with her tongue. Um, on the outside, they can, I just, I just keep seeing lashing and it keeps someone stuck and frozen. See, we got the iceberg, but this is starting to melt. This is starting to change. 
and it is letting go of um it's interesting because weren't we just in a desert period and and how do you go from the desert to the mountains oh yeah it's right there okay what I'm getting actually is that to actually sit in the desert by yourself and just have the blazing scorching sun come and just like burn everything away. That actually <laughs> sounds very nice because in the other environment, it's very um, cold. And in the other environment, um, it's destructive, it's harmful, it's cold. So to actually just sit there and, and be burnt, it's almost like I don't even care how much this hurts. It just feels so good to be in a different environment. And here we are growing and healing and changing and learning. And in that desert period, that's where I almost saw like a coyote come up and take on a quest. That's where the quest is. That's where you learn about this magical temple. So the last card that came out with that twisty unraveling one is um, when you kind of start doing things, they use temptation to bring you back in. Um, and the more and more they can keep you stuck with whatever it is that, you know, maybe you have an addictive habit. Um, that's where they can trap your light again and then and then start to wrap you up again and we need to unravel we need to let things go especially if words that they say all i'm seeing is like like the whip and the um lashing and, and that's the thing with words, maybe at least with the physical whip, you'd see the scars and the wounds and those kind of things, but, but the words they're, they're invisible, but this person I see their skin is just riddled with they've just, they've just taken a lot of someone's tongue who who's mean, they're just mean. So these hidden energies, these are these like deceptive background. I'm seeing almost black and blue. Maybe that's because of the back, but I'm seeing black and blue. I'm seeing midnight. I'm seeing almost like a paid, a paid, mobster type goon energy so let's see what we actually get okay. so limiter and then this one this one we gotta we gotta go into there's that wrapped up again blinding something and it still has to do with the tongue but now the tongue actually has a knife. Um, this is different though. Utiver. They're saying this person lashes out and tries to um, keep someone tied up. And then that person, they want to fight back. They want to fight back, but spirit's saying, um, you don't quite see. So when you, you, you yell, you use your words at this person, it only just causes more problems. It doesn't, it doesn't take off the blindfold. It doesn't heal anything. It's just, it's just like, I'm seeing toilet paper, right? Da -da 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 -da. Like, and just, that's it unraveling. But I mean, if you were going to the washroom and you needed toilet paper, that would be beneficial, but this situation is not. So it's just saying, sit in your desert period, right? Things, 
things may be scorched. It might just be the hardest thing your soul ever goes through. But the Phoenix Rising moment will come. You will make it through. And there's this union coming. It's like... And the stars, as you can see, it's in the stars. It's in this. It is peace. There's heart and there's love and there's commitment. And so they're saying, don't, don't limit yourself. That's what I'm seeing. These two, these two that were sitting over here, it's an illusion, right? We had the, the moon, the illusion at the beginning and, and someone thinking that someone else had a lot more over them. But as they said, round two, it, it wasn't successful. And so everything that you've been kind of going on, yes, you're tired. Yes, you've taken a lot of lashings. Um, but still, like they said, just, just continue your course because they want you to think that they're getting to you. But the only way that they'll know that they're getting to you is when you fight back, um, which is a losing cause because in the end, it ended up wrapping up everything. You couldn't see anymore. So you see the sun, you see where you're going, right? You've been lighting your sunshine. You've been working with your guides and right now is a desert period and you do have this this really malicious, cold, lashing energy, but protect yourself because in the desert, they're not there. They're in the cold and up here. Um, it's just different frequency, they said. You don't have to worry about it, but you, um, if you keep holding on to it, if you keep like, you know, let's say they, they call to yell at you and you, you answer the phone and you know you're going to get yelled at. Well, you've just kind of welcomed that in. But maybe they could leave a voicemail and, you know, you can get that information from that. You know, it's just maybe you don't even need to take the call or know what the call is. But as much as you hold on and allow for them to have that, but at the beginning again... It was saying you, you're already like, they don't have the grip or the power and control like they used to want. Like they want you to give it back to them. And so that's why I kind of see maybe a little bit of coldness coming out, more lashings. So it might be a little bit intense now, but it's really just trying to find where in your auric field is there a tear? Where can I get in and inject myself in there and bring that temptation back? I don't know where that card is to hold them up. Dun, 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 temptation. And uh, this holder of the light, this one, the light within you is becoming so powerful, especially for those who sat in a desert period and sat and got, let the sun just surrender to it. Like there, when you do a moment like that, spiritually and you just whatever maybe sometimes in those you don't have much hope but in that surrendering maybe you did give up or whatever but really you didn't give up you gave it to your guides you gave it to the universe to play out for you you let them take the reins so the desert period was there something about gratitude That might have been the last reading. I'm starting to get those two confused now. I I do feel like they all always it's a it's just a path of that's what healing is. You'll forever be in a path of healing. So there's this wonderful union coming. And uh, you know what? You might think that things aren't working out for you right now, but um this fate taker really doesn't have much power over you. They are limited and they're grasping at straws. They really want to yell and, you know, see what hooks could come in and um, stop you, right? If I, if I just have you stay 
or whatever. It's just a sabotage of some self, right? Maybe the scapegoat is for you to self-sabotage because they know that this thing is coming and they know that you've done so much work and that the healing in your heart is so pure. Um, there is this healing coming and with this healing comes the... Dang it, I really want to remember what this is called. Um, my friend, even one day, we just sat and she's like, you don't know anything about it. And I'm like, no, I'm not like the, the biggest religious person. I mean, I'm open. I love learning everything. And she just gave me like an hour talk about it. And I was like, whoa, that's actually pretty freaking cool. Um, ah, they said two more. We're not done. Okay. Sorry. Urgent message, they say. This is nothing to do with the other reading. This is just two things coming in. Here's our two cents. We need to get it out. First one, underworld forest. Second one, home and hearth. They're saying somebody needs to clean their house. Energetically go and top to bottom everything. Uh, there is this little bit of dense energies. Um, you might have had feelings there and maybe let's say a fight happened or something like that. It's time to take out those energies um, and, and let things um, release. Some things in this house, uh, it's the energies that are shifting things. So you shift the energy there, you shift yourself. So, okay, the hearth they're saying, the home in the hearth, the hearth, bringing up, warming yourself, um, taking care of yourself and nourishing that fire in you, that spark, um, that is what is going to release the underworld kind of grip because again, here in the underworld forest, it looks like almost like that frozen part again, which the underworld is that darkness. Um, you know, what would that kind of entail? It's like, well, sometimes in those areas, um, actions are questionable, right? We can see it through different perspectives and make it work for whatever. So if you really want to melt that attachment to the temptations and the things that pull you, it could be addictions or just um, associations that you shouldn't have. Um, bringing in that nourishment, they say. So what do I see? I see bringing that golden light into your heart. And I'm seeing to eat, eat better, to feed in your, your cells. Because the more that you eat, that's at a healthier vibration, more of the the quicker the healing process will be. You'll have the, right, your cells change all the time and new ones are growing. And so it's like, if you really want to start fresh and clear, you really want someone to work. <laughs> I'm seeing like golden soup, they're saying, drink golden soup, but mostly they show is just like bringing in that golden light, mostly. And nope, they're saying soup would be so good because it's easier for you to process right now. It's not gonna be so hard on you. It's just gonna, it's gonna help right now. So we'll leave it at that. And um, I hope you guys have a good day and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.